ok. Now, ultimately we said that work sampling has to lead to waste ok. So, we can see some ways right now because of work sampling leads to non value added goes to waste right. Now, the question is how does this relate to productivity? So, this is some a study we did some years back ok. We studied and we asked ourselves this question because it is a relevant question to ask. We did the aluminum form work, we studied a crew for for uh, you know for uh, as a part of one of our m -tech projects. And then what you can see here is, so the hypothesis, what would be your hypothesis in this case? What would you assume? If there is a more wastage then productivity is less. Right. So, here we have value added, non value added. What is the relationship between productivity? Between value added and productivity, what do you think the relationship is? It should be directly proportional. That is more value added, ok, the more the productivity. Now, between this I will put a question mark, non value added and productivity inversely. should be inversely proportional ok. So, this is exactly what you see here. So, direct work is actually value added ok, this is value added paid and work sampling. You can see as a value added increased the, the dots show the actual productivity measurement and the line shows the best fit and you know that R square shows the coefficient of regression. Now, what do you think of this R? Not very good. So, we were not able to establish a strong correlation between direct work increase and productivity ok. But on the other side when we took took idle or, or non value added ok, actually this is non value added and or let us keep it idle and productivity, we found that the more the idle time the productivity decreased ok. So, one thing is clear if I go to site and find lot of non value added on my site, then my productivity my productivity measurement system is going to be showing a low, lower productivity. If I find a lot of value added work going on my site my productivity measurement system need not necessarily show improved productivity. Why? Right. So, one is there can be a categorization problem ok that will seem value added, but not any other reason. There can be rework going on which is actually not not contributing to productivity, but my work sample cannot classify rework good anything else ok. So, this is where lean becomes important just because people are busy it does not mean that the whole work is coordinated and going forward ok. Busy people does not so the it is a people are busy is good, but there is more to be look at from the underlying perspective that is why you need multiple systems to be able to keep your eye on how the project is going ok. So, again looking at work sampling it is not meant to be it is meant to complement the productivity measurement system and the all this is meant to complement finally, the project management system of CPM earned value this that etcetera all of them work kind of in in sync not this or this or this ok. Uh, the, the reporting levels for the earned value systems is at very high level periodic reporting is monthly. My, if I prepare my earned value report for now, when is the data relevant? Not today's data, yesterday's data, it is about a month old ok. My productivity measurement system is about one week or two weeks old. My work sampling should be only a few days old ok. So, so yeah, so you you get the you get the feel of where it goes. Okay, so now again we come back to this whole business of of uh, of I, I mean between Test cricket, One Day International, and T20. 
okay earned value is equivalent to reporting for test match okay it's low over 5 days you can you know report it in a, you know it doesn't matter you know even even you lose one wicket on this thing nothing is going to or you 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 bat 10 maiden overs any change not not too much of impact depending on the objectives one day international yeah it my matters you how, what is your monitoring system how frequently do you want to know your run rate and all that each over or each over is good enough okay or yeah and uh, you have to keep track of it you come to a t20 ball by ball you have to keep track of what you are doing okay so this is similar to that i am not saying work sampling is doing ball by ball tracking but you even your productivity measurement system can do ball by ball tracking because of the information systems that are coming in place but you need to do all of this in a project you need to keep the long range plan you need to keep the medium range and you need to keep the short range and variety of tools help you to do this okay so just to summarize the session we saw how we basically take observation based data make it formal okay to be able to see site and crew level activities okay that was kind of the way we started we talked about general types and processes in work sampling whether it's crew based sample tour based sample you know the different types of observations we have on it all of it we talked about sampling formally you understand that real formal statistical sampling is scientific it's a basis we are not advocating that for these sessions because of the uncertainties in construction and we are going with more heuristic sampling heuristic sampling doesn't mean it should be tardy or you know just anything you want there also there is a certain design which we talked about and we have to stick to that design okay and ultimately if you do all of this properly you will get a a the level of activity on your site and that can kind of give you an indicator of waste on your site and once you know there is waste on your site and your your eyes open and your team's eyes open to the extent of waste on your site other ways other, there is more justification to apply lean concepts and be able to try to reduce this waste through other tools and techniques okay so with that let me close the session